Hi friends, welcome back to Library Tutorial with Library 8. In this video, we will going to discuss about Library Actions. So basically, the main purpose of Actions in Library are to be able to easily listen a page interaction. Okay, in Library we can call in a component method without writing a single JS code. Okay, so that is the magic of Library. So first, I am creating a component in my application and to create a component we will use php artisan make colon library and name of the component suppose here i'm writing the component name is actions okay so just enter this so here you can see the component created and a class file that is inside the app http library we have got a class file that is actions.php so basically this is the class file of component and here this is the view file will go inside the views library action.blade.php so just go to the project directory and here you can see inside the app http library that is actions.php so basically which we have just created and a view file that is inside the resource views library and actions.blade.php so basically this is the view file of the component okay like javascript event in library there is all type of actions like click event submit event key down key up and all of which you have in javascript so it's cool okay so let's take an example of click event so suppose here i am creating a button okay and closing the button tag and here i will write a type equal to the button so this is the view file and this is the class file okay in library when you create any component by default we will get this render method and inside the render method we will call the library dot actions basically library folder actions is the blade file name okay so basically this view file is this file so now to see this view file we need to create a link so here i am writing a label that is sum okay and we need to go in our route folder so inside the route web.php we will first use the trait of this component class file so this is the library component so here we will use app http library and the class name is actions okay so write it here and we will create a link that is suppose i am creating a get request so write here get suppose here my url name is actions okay so whatever you can add in your choice but here i am taking the actions after that the class okay and colon colon the class so now let's run the server so to run php artisan serve okay so if we go to this link we will see this blade file okay so just go to the browser and go to this link so here we can see a button that is label as sum so here we will write a click event and will pass to values to see the output so now go to the class file so here i will declare a variable that is public and suppose my variable is also sum okay so now i want to add some data so i will create a function that is public function and function name is add okay so write it here add and we will pass two values to add so here i am taking two variable that is dollar a and dollar b okay and we will use this sum inside this add function to calculate the value of dollar a and dollar b okay let's write this and use this variable that is sum 
and dollar a plus dollar b so when when you click on this sum button so basically it will calculate the output so in library all the public variable is accessible from the blade file okay so just create a click event so right here where and colon the event name is click okay so here i will call this method okay so this is very cool that is without writing any js code we will directly call this laravel method from inside the library okay so here i am passing two values suppose five and six okay so basically when you click on this basically it will call the add function and we'll see the output so if we print the sum inside the action we'll see the result so just write beer and here just type result so result is basically dollar sum so now go to the browser and here we can see so just click on sum so here we can see the output that is 5 plus 6 equal to 11 so now i am going to change the value so suppose here i am writing 15 plus 60 so just to refresh this so click on sum so here we can see the 110 so this is very interesting things and cool features for liveware so without writing any js code we are getting the output from the laravel methods okay so now i will create a small counter program with the use of click event to clear it more so let's see how cool library actions so just remove this okay so here just write button again and inside the button i want to add some so just write a button and i will write a button that is for decrement okay so here i want to use so when we click on the plus it will increment some value and when we click on this minus it will decrement some value so here write some text suppose here i'm writing that is one so now it is a static so basically i want to do when you click on this plus so basically it will increment with the one and if you click on the minus it will decrement by one so how we can achieve this so very simple so just go to the class file so here i will create two functions one for increment and one for decrement so just write public function that is increment and same like increment we will write a function for decrement so just change the name that is decrement okay now we will add the actions so just write the click event here so right here where and we will use the click event and inside the click event when you click on the plus button basically it will call the increment method okay and when you click on the minus button it will basically call the decrement button okay so just copy from plus and paste it here okay so nice things so now i am creating a variable that is public function suppose num okay so basically now the one is static and now i want to add a dynamic with the click of this two button okay sorry this is the variable not a function so remove the function okay so now when you click on this num we will just increment this value by one so right here this num and i am changing the value by one okay and for decrement we will decrement the value by one so very simple so just like this okay so now this is the static so we need to make it dynamic so right here num okay 
so if you go to the browser we can see there is no data so initially i am setting the num equal to zero okay so just refresh this so we can see the zero and if you click on the plus button so it is incrementing okay so it is very nice features in liveware so we are using the click methods without writing a single code so if you click on the minus so it will just minus so okay so we can see this so it's very cool so this is basically all about liveware click events so we have lots of events left to discuss so if you have any queries about this video please comment in below comment section next day we're going to discuss about another actions for library and we'll discuss more more things for library okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video